Are you ready? Yeah, I just started the video. Welcome to Ask Isaac. I'm sorry, no, Isaac. I had to wake you up. I had to talk to you. There's something really urgent I want to talk to you about. It's yeah, like let life me just and tell death. You guys, she drove 20 minutes to my house, woke me up, and told me it's important. It's life or death. And I woke up scared. Like, what happened? And she goes, I have a question for you. I mean, ask Isaac any time, any day, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay, well, I have this friend. She just opened up a restaurant. She's been really stressed out because she got some, like, a few bad reviews. But she's a really hard worker and she does her best. So I just wanted to ask you, like, it's not a question, but, like, what should... I don't know. I just don't I know. I have answered this in the morning. Okay, I'm kidding. I just I'm... need your advice. Okay, you're right. <laughs> so, so, is it new? It's a new restaurant? Yeah. Okay, give me a minute to just understand. She has a new restaurant. She's getting bad reviews. <clears throat> I'll tell and you her name later. She wants to stay anonymous. Okay. Well, let me ask you something, Bebo. You ready? When you, let's just pretend you went to a restaurant and you had a really good experience. You ate your heart out, you're completely full, you go home. What are you gonna do, Diva? You go to sleep and nap. Exactly. I was just gonna say that because I know you that well. You're gonna go home, take a nap, chill out, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna ask you something else. How many times do you go to a restaurant and the slightest inconvenience happens. Like this guy forgot to give you plastic spoons. What do you do? You just want to ruin his life. <laughs> you write a review. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. But why don't you do the same when you're happy? How come when you came home the first time you just went be went to bed? You didn't think about oh I'm gonna write a review. See, I'm the weird one. There's some people like me who will actually take time out of their life to fill out those surveys and write about how good they're doing i'm somebody who does that so i feel like i have the right to even write bad reviews but then there's some people well majority of people they about i hate to break it to you they don't write the good experiences they only write the slightest inconvenience that they came across that's very true so just because she's bad reviews she shouldn't feel bad about her restaurant and if she's working really hard on it she should take those for bad reviews into consideration like to see if she could improve take them as like improvement comments um, but otherwise I wouldn't I mean sure reviews matter I try to do what I can but I wouldn't worry too much about it yeah I'm because sure. I've tried her food too you know it's amazing it's great exactly. I'm sure so many people go there and love it but they just don't see the importance of going back and writing a good review yeah so i think that your friend shouldn't let you know bad comments or negative feedback get to her she should use it to her advantage or you know i'll write some good reviews for her tell her i'll make four different accounts and write really good reviews for her <laughs> don't worry i got her I'm kidding. I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> okay, everyone can trust you and rely okay. on you, I say. But that's why I asked you. Like, but here's the thing. Don't stress. You know, I'm actually proud of her for even keeping her restaurant going at a time like this when everybody has it shut down. So yeah, people are just gonna have to respect that. I just hope you know. She succeeds, and Shala, her restaurant's gonna go really good soon. I'm praying for her. Yeah, we'll go eat. Maybe we'll go next. eat there yeah. and take some Snapchats and promote it and uplift everybody. That's what I was thinking too. Plus, it's just a bad time. Everybody's in a bad mood. Everybody's angry, and everybody's looking for a reason to release their anger. So, hey, you forgot to give me napkins. <laughs> now I'm gonna ruin your life, right? <laughs> I mean, I stuck no, I don't do no. that. I'm not saying to go do that. Not guys. to good people. You know, they don't <laughs> I'm do just saying, that. yeah. People are under a lot of stress. Is that it? Yep. Okay, but if you wake me up ever in your life, ever again, I'm gonna kill you. Don't you sleep. We're supposed to stay up and watch a movie. <laughs>
I have work tomorrow. No, you movie little, night. This is a toxic relationship. It's still night time. Movie Everything. night. Movie night. Go back to my first video about toxic relationships. <laughs> I'm not a guy. Bye bye. It's a friend relation. Friendship. What? I will wake her up, guys. Don't worry. Oh, Another God. video in five minutes.